I'm Timmy from Mini Bowl Design, and this is my noontime break from uh, building stoves. I'm building uh, uh, bungo high nipples today, uh, and maybe choke hazards this afternoon if I get time. Uh, but I thought, uh, rather than waiting till the end of the day when the light is starting to fade, that I would do my <laughs> my video today uh, around noontime. Right now it's uh, it's 11 o'clock. And then the sun would be out, and, I, and then at the end of the day, rather than doing the video, I thought I'd uh, maybe watch a Netflix. <laughs> so uh, I've got a quite a bit of footage and snapshots of just the really raw main woods, just out. None of this, you know, picture book stuff. Just what the main woods really looked like. I, I, I think a lot of people really don't realize just how rustic it is. And I'm also going to do the tree of the day uh, after this, which is a balsam fir. And, but before that, I want to talk a little bit about stove design and uh, give you some food for thought on that. So let me move the camera in for that. Okay, here we go. This is my own personal prototype that uh, I work on. Whenever I'm going to try anything, I usually try it on this prototype. So uh, this may have most anything hanging on it. Today, uh, actually I did it yesterday. I was trying to think of a way to uh, increase the burn time. Now, there's several math formulas here that I'll get into in a minute, but basically what I did was this original top is twice as thick as this because on the ones that I sell, this nipple uh, comes in down here in a solid aluminum piece to get enough thread material to thread it in and have it solid. So in the end, that 3 eighths of an inch of aluminum that the nipple screws into uh, is just solid aluminum, wasted space, no alcohol can get in there, so it cuts down on the overall volume of the stove. And uh, in the end, the burn time. Uh, now, I could make it longer, but that cuts down on the distance from the stove to the flame to the bottom of the pot, and that's fairly critical, so I couldn't do that. So I was looking for a way to increase the volume. So what I did was I made this one uh, three-eighths of an inch thinner and increased the length of this silicone 2 by 3 eighths of an inch, so it gave me 3 eighths of an inch more room for alcohol. And then, rather than turning it in the lathe, whether you can see here or not, I milled this and left that thick piece right there for meat for the threads to go into, to screw into so it would still be rugged. A little bit exotic. And in the end, what I ended up with, with the 3 eighths of an inch of extra space, I ended up with about another minute of burn time. Now, that gets to the math part of this. Uh, and just food for thought. This is a food for thought. Now, if you fill this stove up, it'll burn five minutes before the flame will start to die on it. Uh, before I did this, it would only burn for four minutes. Now, it takes about nine minutes to boil two cups of water using uh, a great oven or a, or a, a uh, Dutch beer can pot. So if you fill this up and it burns about five minutes, that means that you're going to fill it once and when the flame starts to fade, a little before it fades, maybe at four and a half minutes, you're going to squeeze your bottle and refill it. And in another four and a half minutes, just as it's going out, the water will come to a boil and you'll have used all the alcohol in the stove and none wasted. Now, if you make this burn for, say, six minutes, the first burn will be six minutes, and then when that starts to go down, you're going to refill it, and it's going to burn for another six, but you're only going to need, uh, and that's a total of 12 minutes, but you're only going to need nine. So that means at the end, you're going to have three minutes of alcohol trapped in that felt, which you're not going to be able to get back, and that's not very efficient. So that's just food for thought. Uh, people wonder why I don't make them burn longer. That's one of the reasons. The second reason is, uh, it's just safer that way if you don't have a lot of alcohol in any one place at one time. This stove, if you fill it up and walk away from it in four minutes, uh, four and a half, five minutes, it's going to go out. So there's none of this burning a long time or alcohol getting spilled anywhere. Or if you tip it over, the alcohol won't run out of the felt. You can tip the stove right over and there's no threat at all because no alcohol is pooling anywhere to leak. So that's just some food for thought, and I'm going to continue to improve this stove, and eventually something will come from it that uh, I can put in the store. So let's go look at the main woods.
from Mini Bowl Design, and today's tree of the day is the balsam fir. Uh, a very aromatic tree. If you smell this, this is the scent that they generally will present when they're talking about the great Maine woods. You'll have little bags filled full of these needles, and it just smells like the Maine woods. You get into any area where there's a bunch of these, and, and it's a really predominant smell. It's really nice. Uh, they use them primarily for Christmas trees when they're young. Uh, not so much now. They've got hybrids and stuff that they plant now. But this used to be the old standby, balsam fir. Uh, it's got a real thick, uh, soft needle pattern on it. And uh, it just feels nice and looks good. It's a nice, thick tree. And, of course, that aroma in the house can't be beat. When it gets older and gets to be a full-size tree, they use it for lumber and for pulp. Uh, there aren't a lot of them big anymore because they've all, <laughs> not in this area anyway, I looked for a couple hours, I couldn't find a big one. Uh, they've all been cut down for, for pulp and for lumber. Now, when they get bigger, they have pitch pockets on them, and you can squeeze them and the pitch will squirt out at you. You can actually collect it in like a film canister and use it. Uh, as Bear Grill would say, it takes a spark real well. You can start a fire with it. It's a, a real good accelerator. And I have read that they also use that pitch for uh, mounting lenses in the optical industry. Kind of interesting. It has some unique qualities that it will grab the glass, but yet can be broken loose later on, and it doesn't expand, expand and contract with temperature. It's very stable, very clear liquid. Uh, they extract the scent from this and, and use it in different kinds of oils and things. Uh, the needles are quite often... Uh, collected and dried and put in bags to sell in these tourist traps, I call them, and novelty shops for uh, representation of the main woods. And I guess that's about all there is to know about the balsam fir, at least from my point of view. Uh, it's a fairly popular tree, especially because of the Christmas tree aspect of it. I'm Kenny from Mini Bull Design. Get out and hike, take a friend, enjoy some really great meals out in the great outdoors, and get out and just enjoy the great Maine woods. And more important than anything, have a really great day. Bye-bye.